So first, like always, what's across from the right angle is our hypotenuse. Across from the angle we are given is opposite. Nothing is here, so I'm going to cross it out. I don't have any information here, and then that means x is the adjacent. Which trig function uses adjacent hypotenuse? Cosine, so it's cosine. Angle goes next to that, adjacent over hypotenuse. To get 20 out of the denominator, you multiply by 20 on both sides. And then we put this in the calculator. 20 cosine 60 gives us 10. So it's 10 feet. I want to talk about one more case with you guys that might pop up on some of your practice. If I'm given a triangle... You can just draw this somewhere on your paper. If I'm given a triangle, they tell me this is 30 degrees. We're looking for the hypotenuse, and this is 10. Find your hypotenuse first, cross from the right angle. This is the angle they give us, so we're looking. There's the opposite. Nothing's there. We're left with the adjacent side. So, what trig function are we using? Cosine. And it's adjacent over hypotenuse. You see how x is in the denominator? We're not going to multiply by 10. You can't do that. You have to get rid of your denominator first. So, the trick I showed my students last year, all you do is reverse these. You get x equals 10 divided by cosine 30. So 10 divided by cosine 30, and you get 11.55. So anytime x is in the denominator, you just switch these positions, and you're going to divide instead of multiply.